Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace for those of you who don't know me and today I'm going to be showing you this super purple pop look inspired by Dua Lipa, one of my favorite singers. But here we go. Starting off, I'm going with this Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion and I'm just going to blend this all over my eyelid. Up next, I'm going with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade called Milk. This is going to be the base to really allow the purple to pop on my eyes. I'm basically drawing Drawing this in into the shape that I want, which is kind of like a really 70s or 80s pop wing, I guess, if you can say. And then I'm gonna blend this in with a clean blending brush just to make sure that the colors are really, really settled in onto my eyelids. And now I'm gonna go in with basically the star of the show. This is the Natasha Denona 5 palette. This is palette number 10 and I'm going with the super bright purple matte shade in the palette. And I'm just basically laying this flat all over my eyelid using a flat shader brush. Um, all my eye brushes are actually from Shop Miss A. It's the one that comes in 10 brushes with the travel box. And uh, as you can see here, I'm just basically laying the color flat all over my eyelid, making sure that I'm not basically missing any Faces, I don't want any of the white to show through. And then of course, um, once I lay down most of the color onto my eyelid, I'm gonna go in with a smaller, more detailed brush. This is a Morphe brush. I'm gonna make sure that I cover the outlines of this thick wing to make sure that all the whites basically disappear and sharpen the edges. Then up next, I'm taking a clean blending brush just to kind of soften the edges just the tiniest bit, only the tiniest bit. And then I'm actually going to go in with a different color to blend the edges. And I'm blending the edges just ever so slightly, but not too much, just so that there's a bit of a transition in my crease. And then now I'm gonna actually going to deepen the outer V of this eye look. I'm going in with this super deep maroon, almost purple shade, also matte. And I'm only focusing this, like I said, on the edge of the outer V so that there's a bit of a dimension. Up next, I'm taking this Dior Beige Coal Eyeliner just on the lower lash line just to make it seem like my eyes really pop and I'm awake. And now I'm gonna start with my base. I only focus this on the areas of my face where the pores are really huge, which is basically inner cheeks and my nose area. I'm just gonna blend this in with an Equal Tools makeup sponge. And I'm only gonna press it in because when you drag it, you can really see it, it moves on the skin. And this is something that I use as a primer. And then up next, I'm going with this Urban Decay Concealer. Now this shade is actually way too dark for me, but I'm focusing this on the center of my face and then I'm basically gonna use my makeup sponge to just kind of blend it outwards. So I'm focusing all the product in the inside. And now, I don't know why, but most of the time the makeup on my nose likes to move around. So I'm actually going in with my ring finger and with just a touch of the concealer, I'm dabbing it in just so that it kind of covers the area where my makeup moved. This has been something that's been happening lately and I'm not sure why, but uh, this is how I'm fixing it at the moment. Up next, just to brighten my face because obviously that concealer was way dark for me, I'm going with the It Cosmetics Brightening Pen. Um, everything will be listed down below, guys, so the names that I'm using may be a bit incorrect. This is what I've used before just to center my face to really brighten the complexion and just to give it a little bit more dimension. Um, it doesn't really have that much coverage, but it is a lot more than the YSL one for sure. Now I'm going in with a brush just to blend all this out. But as you can see here, um, it's really hard to kind of blend everything underneath the eyes with uh, even such a medium sized dome brush. So afterwards, I'm actually gonna go in with my makeup sponge after I spray my face with the Dime Dynasty setting mist just to refresh the concealer a little bit because by the time I got to the cheeks, it kind of dried up just a tad bit. And uh, I'm basically going to use this sponge to blend underneath my eyes, get to the crevices where the brush can't. 
And now I'm going to set the face. This is the Pure Cosmetics Contour Diaries and I'm using these brightening shades right here uh, with a rolled out brush just to set the place where I basically concealed with the It Cosmetics brightening pen. Uh, I'm now starting to use this instead of a loose powder because I've actually noticed amazing, amazing finish on the skin. And now to kind of finish off the eyes, I'm going in with a detailed brush with the same pop of purple and I'm just going to basically blend this in the lower lash line and as at the same time I'm going to take that maroon deep purple color as well and focusing that just on the outer V of the lower lash line to get, get some dimensions and of course I use a mascara for my lower lashes now to bronze, I'm going in with the YSL La Saharian bronzer just to bronze up my face just a tiny tiny bit because I feel like it's looking a little flat. This is a Benefit Cosmetics bronzing brush. Now I'm going to take the contour shade in the palette with a, an angled brush just to contour my lips and my nose as per usual. Now I'm going to set my face with the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray and I'm going in with this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the high points of my face. And I'm just going to quickly do my brows off and voila, here we go, what magic, it's done. Now, just to add some colors to my cheek, I'm going back in with that Cargo Cosmetics blush in Catalina with a small angled brush and now it's time for lips. I'm lining my lips with the MAC Cosmetics lip pencil in the shade Nice and Spicy. This is a pro long wear one. And because we want to focus everything on the eyes, I'm going in with another nude. This is a Tarte Liquid Lipstick and it's in a really nice neutral nude that doesn't wash me out too much. I love this look so, so much. And just because of that, I'm taking this shimmery, really luxurious purple with a flat brush and I'm going to wet it with my Cover FX Setting Spray. And I'm just going to place only in the middle and on my eyelid. And I'm going to take this satiny type of shade and I'm going to focus that on the inner corner of my eyes to add that pop. I'm taking this Bath & Body Works lip gloss and I'm placing that just in the middle of my lips to make to give it some dimension. And here we are guys. I hope you liked it. I think it's super cute and almost disco -y. I would actually wear this look again but I love this look so so much. I can't wait to do more of something similar. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell button and thank you you guys. I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.